Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl. Uh, so right now, we're gonna, based on your request, I got a ton of requests of you guys asking me, telling me how expensive these gaming desks are and productivity desks are if you're into filming and you're doing post-production work. A lot of you guys said you can't afford these crazy desks that, uh, you know, the, uh, the ones with the elevation and all of that stuff, and you really can't afford it and you're stuck with getting crappy, crappy tables and all kinds of you know things that just really suck okay so you guys uh, wrote to me and you guys said that you wanted me to to do a mini series on how to build a table now obviously as you saw the past uh, series keep requesting them I'll, I'll make whatever mini series based on requests based on the magnitude of requests and first come first serve on that point um, but the first one we did is how to build a gaming PC on, on the cheap, right? So then uh, afterwards is how to build a uh, helmet uh, from beginning to finished product on a 3D printer, uh, also on the cheap. And now I'm gonna teach you guys how to build a gaming uh, slash productivity uh, desk for dirt, uh, well, I'm not gonna say dirt cheap, but cheap, on the cheap. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, normally I would say, oh, you know, I could do this all in one video. The truth of the matter is, you can't. And I've seen some of these guys putting together videos and fast forward and all that stuff. I'm not gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna review every part. And the reason why I do this first, like I did with the computer and you guys really uh, enjoyed it and liked it because I gave you guys in-depth reviews about each part. And I think that's what it comes down to because I can talk about each part in a video and tell you exactly what's its strength, what's its weaknesses. I could tell you, you know, real in-depth uh, review like I did before. I'm going to do it on this. And I'm also going to tell you if what they said is, uh, you know, what the company claims is right or wrong. Okay, and we're going to get into that in a lot of these things. Okay, so basically that's what's going to be uh, what i'm going to be doing right now so first like always i'm going to be reviewing every part then i'm going to show you guys the finished product okay of how to put it all together how it looks and everything you know in uh in a nutshell so we're going to do that right now uh due to your request believe it or not i just said you know what why don't i just paint my entire room because I'm going to be destroying my entire uh, computer desk and right now it's all out of whack here but uh, I got a 3D printer as you can see let's see it right here on top of a uh, you see on top of like a, a drawer which I'm going to throw and this is my you see it's a small table and it carries my 43 inch well I mean it still goes kind of over on the side there you can see but you see, it, for what it's worth, it lasted me for a very long time. I even have my computer on the table here. So we're going to just uh, look around here. I'm going to show you how it looks from this side. So, I, and I didn't have a V desk here. Obviously, I just put this in now. It was just one big line. So what I want to do is I want to build an, an extremely big table that's for productivity, okay, that I can put my mixers in and that I can put that. Now, all together, they equaled about 60 inches going this way and about 30 inches, uh, 29 inches in depth, okay? So I wanted to get a 70-incher, and we're going to talk about that when I review uh, the tabletops and all of that. So I wanted a 70-incher or a 74-inch in my, in my case, a 74-incher. I believe it was, uh, I don't remember... Uh, uh, the one I got, I believe it's a 70 incher, but um, I wanted a 70 to 75 inch, and they were extremely hard uh, to find. And I looked at the tables. The table I'm going to show you guys how to build is going to be roughly about retail price of $1,500. It could be also around the $800 uh, price point. Uh, that being said, I uh, just want to make sure uh, I want to look here what I got here. But I'm going to be also providing you. So I got a 70, uh, I found a 72 inch wide, okay, uh, uh, thing. Now, altogether, this is 60. So you can see I could still fit my printer, my 3D printer. But I, I would put my 3D printer on top of my printer scanner, and I really hated doing that. So now with the 72 incher, that will give me freedom to put the printer and on top of that, the, the uh, 3D scanner. Uh, sorry, uh, the 3D printer. And, uh, you know, instead of on top of that, but near it. Uh, and I'll have places to put a bunch of other stuff in there with a 72-incher. Now, 70 was the one I w was hitting for. Then I said I wanted to get a 75. 
Uh, that be, you know, because uh, the, the sticks that I have are going to be, uh, they, they support anywhere to even 80. Uh, but then I really found that, you know, perfect sweet spot of 72, and I think it's just uh, amazing. And instead of 29, it's going to be about 30 uh, inches in depth, so it's another inch, which is probably a good thing. And I'm also going to be showing you how to install uh, the drawers. Now, obviously, in these uh, stand-up desks, everywhere you look, 60 is the limit, and it really sucks. And on top of that, the depth is really shitty, and also the drawers that are underneath, uh, you know, to put the printer on, is non-existent. I mean, there was one that had one that wasn't a drawer, but kind of like a step down, but that kind of sucks. It, it's always cool. I like the ones that you push back, and it doesn't seem to be a fad right now in any of these tables that are out there. All the tables that I saw don't even have that drawer. And those that do are incredibly small, like this desk right here without that drawer with the printer. So just the desk itself is like about 50 something inches. And that's exactly what you see here. You see 45, you see 50 in width, I'm talking about. Uh, and the, eight, uh, the 849 ones is like a V1, but it, it's still crap because it blocks a bunch of stuff and it's just really tiny if you're looking at this side and they count that, you know, this side with that side. So it's like you're pretty much screwed with a tiny little table. Uh, so I wanted to look for something that was big. Another thing is, as you can see here, let me just show you guys. I have a, oh, a drawer right here, you see? A drawer. And I couldn't find tables with drawers to put my stuff in. So I also went ahead and got me uh, a file cabinet type drawer, which I could put anything I want in there from files to actual things. Uh, and it's really cool. And I can't wait to review those for you. So basically, I am putting together this desk that is probably anywhere from retail value of $849 to about uh, $1,500. And I'm going to put it together, and you could get it without the drawer. I'm going to say if you don't want a drawer in there, I mean a file cabinet or whatever in there, uh, you can get it roughly for a little bit over $300, which I think is extremely cheap, and you guys know what I'm talking about, especially if you want those big desks, a productivity desk, or one to put your mixers and speakers and so on and so forth. Uh, and uh, the other one uh, would be uh, if you want to get it with the cabinet, it's going to cost you a little bit over the $400 mark. Okay, so it's not, it's not that expensive. I'm going to tell you something. Even I would recommend getting it with the file cabinet, but you guys are going to see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, as always here, self-funded. Uh, like I said, you guys request, I do it. And you actually gave me the idea. You said, please, Lior, do this. And I said, you know what? This would be really cool. So I went and got it and said, you know what? Let me first paint this room, then destroy this freaking desk to bits because I live in an apartment and uh, I need to bash it to bits otherwise I have to pay a deposit to move crap out so I'm gonna move that junk out and then start building right away and I'm gonna show you guys the next episode the next episode each review of each part and then afterwards the in-depth and uh, what it represents then I'm gonna build it and show you guys all of the finished product all together but guys it is really cheap and the reason also why I'm doing these reviews of these single ones is because I want you guys to also chime in if you found something cheaper or bigger and cheaper or bigger for the same price let's say the tabletop instead of a 72 inch or you found a 71 or I mean 75 for a cheaper price than I have so be sure to shoot that down in the comments below. And like, that's what I'm talking about. That's why I want to do that. So you got, we can together come up with the ultimate cheapest solution to come up with something beyond freaking amazing. This desk, I'm letting you guys know it's top, you know, top desk. I am going to tell you though, from the get go, <coughs> I'm not going with a, I'm going with a crank instead of a electronic one. Uh, the reason why I work a lot with motors, I do, you know, from, from drones to three axis gimbals, I build these things, I know how they work. And what I hate is when they go bad. And, and unfortunately, the torque, no matter how good it is, eventually you're gonna put something a little bit heavier and it's gonna murder that. And what happens is it could fall down like this, because that's what happens. One of my friends has the, autom you know, the automatic one and he put a little bit too much weight and it actually drops. So there's no like real safety on that. And on top of that, you're gonna have to redo everything. And with cable management and everything that I'm gonna be sticking, I don't wanna have to remove the tabletop and replace it because 
the tabletop is wood with epoxy on it, but still, the more you take out the screws over and over, the more it's going to burst. I don't want to work with that. I like when it's non-electrical and it's more mechanical. So I'm just cranking it up, a couple of cranks up, you're, you're on the standing desk, a couple of cranks down, you're in a sitting desk. It's not a problem at all. And I think it's the most beneficial to do it that way. That being said, you could go with the automatic one and pay a little bit more. I'll show you guys. I'll speak to you guys in full about that. Anyways, let me know as always what you guys think. And as always, self-funded here, the only thing I ask is that you like, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and definitely comment below and hit that damn bell button because when you do, you get alerted of the next episodes to come, of the next mini series, or the next unboxings, and the next honest reviews. So that's all I got to say about that. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here, be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini-series to unboxings to technology you know, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come, definitely want you guys in it, and I want, it, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.